Roy, Roy's neutral is basically just him trying to uh, close in with either Nairs. Because, I mean, Roy's neutral is, is okay, but he does have the speed and the combos and the kill power to yep. really, like, make it through for him. Just, just like Falcon. It's, fa it's Falcon with the sword. That's how it is. Mm -hmm. And right now we're going to Town and City where the blast zones are small and Mewtwo does benefit quite a lot. Mewtwo, uh, a lot of people would recommend to just ban this stage against Mewtwo just because the, the platforms help him a lot and also the blast zones make it really easy for him to kill. However, Hyper shows no fear. I'm assuming Hyper did ban FD just to like get rid of the, the platform potential and I'm pretty sure Tordos got rid of Smashville just because of Roy. Yeah, so... Uh, Hyper really having the stage advantage right now, keeping Tortoise off stage to the side. Right, not gonna kill yet, but one more of those might do it. Ooh, clips him with the up B, coming back to stage. Yep. Catches the roll oh, with the up B, that's and that's gonna, gonna be a stock. Hyper doing pretty well with the 40%. And right now, Tortoise just wants to get some type of confirm out of Nair and just try to keep. Hyper out with projectiles and just keep, keep like keep the stage control as well. But however, he does roll into a grab. But right now, he's playing the ledge game quite well. Lands with a nair, gets a fair out of it. Yeah, Hyper just going in and going out. Uh, just getting damage where he can. All right, Ooh, nice read okay. with the rollback. Ooh, okay. Good thing you didn't get punished there. Yeah, Hyper just playing this game at his own pace. Right. That's conversion into the uh, from the up air into the fair. All right, catches him with the blazer, but he does tech that, and Hyper does not. So Boys, our boy chance comes out. Oh, tries to read a roll with an F smash. That could have, that would actually kill. Yeah, that charge. charge. Probably. However, oh, this is town and city, good. and Mewtwo is hella light, so that will be the stock at 100%. One of the a really quick game one going to Hyper. Yeah, probably going to see uh, maybe a Town City again or maybe Smashville. Oh, we're going to see the switch to Marth. All right. So Marth does outrange Roy. However, if Roy does get in, Marth does struggle because his tip, his, his hits are on Tibber. I would actually rec I would have actually recommended Lucina because Lucina is actually one of the distinct characters that actually does have an advantage over Marth in this matchup. Mm -hmm. However, Tordas does have the practice with the Marth. Tries to read a drop down with the shield and tries to get a tr shield break right there. However, I do not, I do not, uh, I do not, uh, I, I still approve of this pick. It is a better uh, pick against Mewtwo, um, for Mewtwo, in my opinion. Yeah, Mewtwo does, uh, well, Marth doesn't die as easy as Mewtwo does. Plus, uh, I, I really like this matchup because you really play both these sword characters like really differently where Marth you play more spacey and you play more uh, patient whereas uh, Roy you play a lot more like aggressive and you go in and you don't really have to space as much because everything is at the hilt. Mm -hmm. yeah. Marth more of the zoning character, Roy more of the rushdown character. Yeah. So as long as Tordos is able to keep Hyper out he should be sitting pretty well however he's down a stock but he is surmounting a comeback right here. He has to play this right at the ledge. Nice catch with the side B. All right, not doing too bad right now. I mean, he's down a stock, but he doesn't have too much percent on him. But one solid hit from Marth should be the stock. Yep, this is Marth, however. So any well-placed tilt and smash attack will be able to take the stock pretty easily. And of course, do pretty well in the next stock as well, seeing as Marth does benefit a lot from Rage. Oh, gonna get punished there. Not really, not really the most advi well advised uh, neutral bees. All right, tries to make some up with the dash dancing, but does catch an up air. And okay. another up air will take, it. take it. So he's not too behind right now. One solid hit from Roy might kill if he gets the sweet spot, but other than that, Tortoise is looking okay right now. He's got hyper at the ledge. Uh, he's like stage control. Ooh, all right. right, Hyper perfect shielding that Nair and punishing with another up smash. One thing that Marth really does struggle with is the fact that if, at the moment you perfect shield any of his aerials, you're able to run under, underneath him or just like catch his cross up and then just get a conversion off of that. Yeah. Marth also does struggle with cross ups just because usually when characters cross up, they do pancake. 
um, depending on their size. And Marth, okay, that's a shield break from the most unexpected character to do get a shield break uh, in this was, matchup. Uh, that was interesting. I did not expect that. Yeah, I thought Tauros was going to get a shield break more than Hyper was. But <laughs> here we are. All right, so good stuff to Hyper.